Now you tap Transmission Sculptor by Daniel Popper with Devil P and it's going to show up on the maps. Uh, starting from Los Angeles, you have to hit the 10th freeway towards east. It's going to take about two hours and a half, probably three hours, depending on traffic. Then you make a left on the 62 towards Joshua Tree. And then you make another left on Sanford, um, going from the Best Western Hotel where I was staying. You hit the 29 Palms Highway, which is the, the 62, then you make a left on Sanford, and then you're going to arrive to a point where you have to make a slight left turn onto Coyote Valley Road. That's where the paved road ends, and you're going to, you see here is where the paved road ends, and then you're going to um, go into this sandy road. Now, the sandy road, if you don't own a four-wheel drive, it's going to make you a little nervous, but it's okay. I've been driving even worse sandy roads with my Kia, and it did fine. What's up, guys? An update. So, I, I the destination arrived... destination is on your right. 2015 Sunfair Road. Arrived. It's supposed to arrive to this. Oh, now I see it. Okay, the GPS told me that the sculptor, the transmission sculptor, is here, but I'm just looking at it. It's a little bit further. And I saw in a video that it was on a dirt road, so I guess the paved road is going to end right here. Okay, I got lost and I've been driving through some. Uh, Pretty uh, sandy roads. I was a little bit scared because you know I don't have a four-wheel drive. But and I got lost and I've been driving around. Then I found a museum, uh, a desert museum. I don't remember the name. It was pretty nice, but not what I was looking for. And right now I'm just. Uh, looking at the transmission sculpture. But the video says that this is this is like any other dirt road and it is a little bit sandy so if you don't have a four-wheel drive you might get a little bit nervous as I am right now. <laughs> but you know my Kia is behaving, it's acting like a I don't want to say like a hero but you know it managed uh, everything that we would put it through okay so this is a historical moment that is the sculpture I don't know if you guys can see it from here so we're arriving right now okay finally we arrived look at this you see it? Can you see it? So there it is, the sculpture. And we are in a pretty high uh, location. There's a little bit of wind. So we're going to explore and we're going to also look the Stellarium app to see if it's suitable for a Milky Way picture, which is what we came here for. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you have to wake. Okay, so you have to walk a little bit from the street. Oh, so it's no trespassing. How bad! You can get to the sculpture. This is awful. I understand. But for us, transmission by Daniel. Conceived within the minds of owner Morgan Brown and her designer Popper, she sends a majestic 28 feet tall. Fully realized, she's concrete evidence that we are all divine, that we are all, all, all one. Maybe all transmute love, peace, and unity between ourselves, each other, and Mother Nature. 
That is why she is here at the Mojave Moon Ranch to remind us this is a photograph from this especially designated viewing location. There is no trespassing as this artwork is located on private property. Many thanks, love Mojave Moon Ranch, which probably disqualifies. my light painting I have to be right at the sculpture unless I do it with my drone but I'm not going to achieve what I was looking for so I don't know still it's a great moment What's up everybody? Thank God I woke up in time so we have a little bit of light and I find this amazing spot for tonight's Mickey Way photography. Look at this. This is amazing and it's right by the road, by a paved road and you have access and it's perfect. Oh my god, I, I guess I'm not going to even get into the uh, national park because you know, the rock, the arch rock, like everybody's doing that picture and there might be like 10 photographers doing that so probably this is going to be my night spot. This is amazing, I love that stuff.